Okay, folks. Now, what I want to show you how to do is how to put a graphic on top of a car, like a vinyl, or how to make like a picture on a car on the side of it. All right. So, basically, before we got up to this point, I taught everyone how to use the levels menu. We went into the levels and we changed it the we changed rather the passenger side window and the front window. Then we went into the lasso tools and we did the headlights, which I'll take those layers off. We did the matte polygonal lasso for this one. For the back rim, we learned the magnetic lasso, how to crop it. And this is our original car that we had, which I didn't do anything to at all graphically. And if I bring this all up, these are all the layers of units that we went over already. Now we're going to add, I want to put a tiger's eyes and a tiger within this side of this car. Kind of like a cool vinyl graphic. And uh, I want to show you exactly how we do that. I'm going to go to the internet really fast. Now I have a image off the internet of a tiger so I'm just gonna hit print screen I'm then gonna go into Photoshop and I'm gonna go to edit paste it pasted this layer above everything what I'm gonna do is lower the opacity of it so I could barely see the tiger I'm in layer one okay I'm gonna take this tiger I'm gonna hit control T which is edit free transform and again edit free transform if you go to edit free transform control T so I'm now gonna shrink this well before I shrink the line let's get him where we want him first let's shrink him and I want this tiger's eyes tiger rather sorry I always do that this this tiger here I wanna put him right here this is exactly how I wanted to be on the car alright so now with that said obviously the opacity is at 51 you bring it up to the top that's how it's gonna look on the car but I'm gonna lower that opacity down I'm gonna lower it really far down so I could see the car now this part of the line is not gonna work so we're gonna use the you're gonna learn the eraser tools now you're learning erasers and transparencies now I'm gonna double click this layer one and call it tiger I might call it a lion five times today so just be mindful of that alright for this tiger here I'm gonna erase now parts of this that I do not need I'm erasing. There's multiple eraser tools in Photoshop. I'm going to click this eraser tool here. There's different ones here on ways to use it. Don't worry about those. Let's focus on little things now. This is the main eraser tool. You can change the diameter of the size of the eraser. You can also use soft edges and all of these are different brushes. And you can even make up your own brushes which I did another day but that's a separate unit and I will show you how to do that later. For now, I'm going to now erase parts of this lion, tiger, excuse me, that I know that we don't need. So I'm erasing this edge now. And I'm going to erase as much of it as I can. And just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on, I'm going to bring the opacity. Well, let's get in this rim really quickly. Erase that much of it. Good. Now, let's bring the tiger back to life. And you can kind of see it, how it's coming on the car, and I'm erasing parts of it that I don't want. I need to see there's not going to be any lion on top of a windshield part for paint so we'll use the polygonal lasso and I'm just going to go across anywhere that I know where the lion, the tiger rather is not going to be I know he's not going to be on top of this part of the windshield so I'm going to go to edit cut and I'm in the tiger layer I bring him all the way up top that part of him isn't there anymore I can't see here though so I know I lower the opacity and I'm going to use the eraser tool for this part. And I'll use, actually, before the eraser tool, we'll use the polygonal lasso. And I'm going to trace my light again. Tracing with my polygonal lasso tool. Generally, it doesn't always uh, look great when you cut off an animal's uh, part of its face. You take away, you know, how cool it's supposed to look. But in this case, it's got to fit within the contour lines of a car. So I'll edit, cut and now obviously you're not going to want to see a tiger it doesn't it's not going to fit exactly right so we're going to erase more of this tiger here on this edge and get rid of that edge obviously we want that to shine a bit and I'm gonna definitely be able to see my my rim good so we're erasing softly the rim and no hard edges on this try never to have any hard edges really and there's going to be definitely nothing within this grill and let's soften the edge from the top part too. And now you've got a tiger vinyl on your car. 
understand something. It only looks cool from this angle. Because if I take this tiger now and I say, you know what, let's put him over here. I've already cut out the parts of the car that work for it. You hit Control Z, it'll go right back where it was. Now, no one says that this tiger can't be Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, Batman. There's plenty of other images that can uh, replace this tiger. It's really, in a sense, just this with lower opacity. If I bring the tiger full opacity, that's what he's going to look like. I, I like lighter opacity so you can still see the contour lines of the car. And I just like doing it that way. I did make a mistake here visually. There shouldn't be anything over that part. It's a little bit. This looks like a different texture of the car, like a vinyl or something. I teach most of my units through cars in Photoshop because I built me a 69 Mustang. So I love using Photoshop. It's something that I, I, I love cause and I love graphics, so I merge both of them to play to my strengths. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and have fun with it and make different different images and use everything I applied, everything I showed you, and apply it in a different way to make different things. All right, have fun and good luck. Thank you.